Ugh, okay. God, I'm fucking disgusting. All right. Sup, <clears throat> kids? So, the TLDR on this particular subject is a uh, big old whopping, very fucking surprising uh, no. Finn is not on drugs. I am sorry to disappoint you, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't find it particularly insulting that people would assume that I am on drugs because sometimes it does seem like I am high off my ass. That's that's not the problem. The, the, the problem to me, the thing that is fucking annoying is that I'm not being listened to. Uh, I feel like y'all ain't fucking hearing me on this mental illness shit, like how fundamentally it affects people. And so this video is going to uh, endeavor to dispel some of the myths uh, about yours truly and um, their level of sobriety. Yeah, so let's get into it. So starting off with the usual suspects, drugs, alcohol. Alcohol is a drug. Caffeine is a drug. Um, I actually don't drink coffee. I don't drink much of anything um, outside of water, tea, and lemonade like sometimes. Like I, I avoid fruit juices, I avoid juice in general, um, soft drinks, no Gatorade, no motherfucking uh, soda, definitely no soda. I don't drink soda at all. I don't really put a whole lot of uh, various substances in my body, but I do drink alcohol. And let me explain why, because people assume that I, I'm like a drunk, I don't know. I drink maybe two to three glasses of red wine a week. Like I'll have a glass with dinner. That's typically how I do it. And it's mostly to stave off this uh, butthole clenching anxiety that I have. And I don't do it all the time and I forget to do it often, but it does help with my blood pressure, keeping my blood pressure down, kind of mellowing me out. Um, I drink Pinot Noir, which is adult wine. It is not delicious. And so, uh, yeah, it's something that I, I do kind of for, I won't say medicinal purposes, but it does have a medicinal effect in just calming me down at the end of a particularly stressful day. On this channel, uh, I think I've had two videos where I am drinking alcohol. So I usually film my videos between late morning and early afternoon. So between like 10 to three o'clock. Uh, or I will film them while Diglett is sleeping um, between like 12 to five in the morning. So those are the times where I am filming. Like when I'm drinking, it's usually at like six, six to six to seven in the afternoon, in the evening. So. Those times don't coincide, ever, ever. So the next culprit would be, you know, other recreational drugs. I have smoked pot maybe three or four times in my life. Uh, one of which was when my uncle tried to rape me. So I'm not a person that is particularly um, keen on being under the influence of substances that can impair your judgment, that can um, lull you into a false sense of complacency because oftentimes people use that to take advantage of you. And, um, you know, I'm not about that fucking life. So I only really smoke or even drink when I am around people that I am comfortable with. And yeah, I don't really do a whole lot of uh, drinking and smoking by myself. Um, it's mostly a thing that I do to, I guess, be more engaging um, when in a situation with other people. It's easier to do peopling when I'm not entirely there. And as far as like harder drugs go, I don't do, you know, shrooms, I don't do LSD, I don't do fucking ecstasy. I don't do any of like the, you know, the bad stuff, the bad stuff. It's just alcohol uh, very sparsely and weed even more sparsely. And so next on the list of substances would be over the counter, um, slash prescription drugs. And so yeah, last year, last year was a bad fucking year for me. Um, I was abusing to an extent sleeping pills 
and that was because I dissociate pretty bad and last year was a fucking bad year. I, I actually don't really remember much of last year. Like, I literally feel like I am still 27. Like, the year I turned 27 just never happened and I, I never turned 28. I'm still 27 right now. I, I would use the sleeping pills kind of to bring me down because the dissociation is very up. It's very flighty feeling. It's it's light and I, I want to feel heavy. I want to feel grounded and uh, the sleeping pills definitely did that for me but it wasn't something that I was doing like a crazy amount and typically when I do my videos and I have taken the sleeping pill it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to kick in and I'm filming for no more than 20 minutes and so they rarely would kick in during a video. I do have prescription drugs and I was at one point taking them. I stopped taking them over half a year ago. Um, I just don't, I don't trust them and they, they, they haven't done anything for me so I um, stopped taking them. So what does that leave? Well, my mental state and my predisposition. I am predisposed to being kind of vacant. Um, that's just kind of the way that I am when I am being, you know, myself, when I am being honest in my videos, I am pretty blank because I have a blunt affect. And that's just, that's just kind of the way that I am. So, I'm not entirely certain that all of you quite understand the sheer breadth of mental illness and its effect on the human body. Of course, it's going to affect the way that I interact with the world around me. It's going to affect my my social interactions is going to affect the way that I interact with myself, my thoughts, but also it deeply, deeply affects me physically. It affects how I speak, how I process speech in general, how I process hearing things and understanding things from other people. And that is something that is a major part of my illness. If you watched my last video, I, um, rattled off my diagnoses and one of them was psychotic depression and so yeah I, I know that I'm depressed and I know that I experience psychosis and psychosis includes delusions hallucinations but also derealization depersonalization dissociation in general and that is what you are seeing when you think that I am high off my ass is dissociation it's this 100 mile stare. It's this inability to come up with words spontaneously. Uh, it's, it just seems like I'm affected because I very much am. And dissociation very much looks like being high because dissociation is a part of being high. Derealization, depersonalization is a part of being high. So people that are high on really any drug, narcotics, um, any like hallucinogens, especially, they'll have out-of-body experiences. And that is very much what dissociation is like uh, without the euphoria. It doesn't, doesn't feel good. It just feels like you're not there. And it's very uncomfortable because it's like I am experiencing my entire life from another room. Like, I am, I'm just never here. And it makes functioning in general difficult. It makes speaking difficult. It makes forging relationships with others difficult. And, you know, even though those aren't things that are super priorities to me, they are important. I, I do need to be able to speak to people. And dissociation makes that difficult. I just kind of experience my life in a fog, which makes life in general feel like it's pointless and just abysmally dull and I think that contributes to depression as well. It's kind of this positive feedback loop of depression and then dissociation to depression to dissociation to depression. Like the more detached I feel from my experience as a human being the more depressed I become which makes me more detached which makes me more depressed. I've tried to say without saying that dissociation makes me look like I'm high. But now I'm going to say it like expressly. When I dissociate, I look like I am high. 
I do not do drugs. And of course, I could be lying. This could all be a fucking lie. And um, if you don't believe me, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Because I can't tell you how to live your life. But I will tell you now that I don't do drugs. And um, yeah, I'm not addicted to anything. And the only thing that I get high off of is my mental illness. So not to like try to guilt trip you or anything or to, um, you know, get all social justice warrior on you. But this is just the facts. Them's the breaks. I am not entirely here all the time and it is evident. And it's not because I am on drugs. I wish it was because you could get treated for that. I could get better. <sighs> yeah. I'll talk to y'all beautiful people on the fucking flip side.